Hey guys, it's Nick, aka the one and only Nick's Games, and today we're gonna be talking about sponsorships. Yesterday, I uploaded a video that many of you, for some reason, thought was a sponsorship. You can check it out right here. It's not a sponsorship at all. Never even talked to Quip other than the fact of I bought their product. What it was was a cool video that I thought would be fun to upload, and you guys apparently didn't think that. For some reason you thought I was a sellout, which that's a different rant for a different day, but what that video was not was a sponsorship. There's something you guys need to understand about sponsorships on my channel. One, I always disclose it. I could either say in the video directly, this video is sponsored by, this video is brought to you by, I'm lucky enough to be sponsored by, or, at the very minimum, I legally have to put it in the description of the video saying this video is brought to you by, I'm happily sponsored by, I'm lucky enough to be sponsored by XYZ Company. So, look for those two things. If I say this video is brought to you by, this video is sponsored by, in the video, it's a sponsored video. Or, if it says in the description that it's a sponsored video, it is a sponsored video. Otherwise, it's not sponsored. It's a video I'm making because I want to make it. Which apparently, you can't even do anymore. People, for some reason, assume that everything you do is for money as soon as you start making money off of YouTube. But anyway, look for those two things if it is a sponsorship. Many of you have thought, I saw someone say, Nick does so many sponsorships now. You know how many sponsorships I've done this month? One, with Apex, on all of the 1.8.9 videos. Those are the only sponsored videos I've done. Only once, and those aren't truly sponsored. I only get paid from those, like make any money, extra money off of those, if you guys go and buy servers through Apex. Something I've made very, very clear in the past and continue to make clear today is that Apex is a primary income for me, and it's because you guys are awesome enough and are awesome enough to go buy servers through them. So, anyway, that's the only sponsored video I've done. I've got another sponsored video coming up later this, like, month. But that one, guess what? Fully disclosed in probably the video and in the description, if not the video itself. I only do two, maybe three, if it's a tight month, sponsorships every month. That's it. Just because a, a, a link is nixgames.com slash whatever doesn't mean it's a sponsored link. All of the links I do on my channel are like that because it keeps them cleaner, it keeps them easier for me to remember, and if someone ever wants a link back to that thing in the future, I can just type it on up. Nixgames.com slash forge, for example, is a good one. It's one of my most clicks link, clicked links ever. It's in Minecraft tutorials all across my channel. And guess what? It's not making me a dime. If anything, it's costing me money because it's costing bandwidth on my website to redirect you guys to it. So just because a link is in Nixgames.com slash doesn't mean it's a sponsored video. The only way it's a sponsored video is if I say it, or at the very least, it is linked in the description. But what's so bad about sponsorships anyway? I think it's kind of interesting that the most requested videos I've had is how to get sponsorships and ways to get sponsorships for your YouTube channel. Those are the two most requested videos I've had in, like, in a long time, so I made two videos on that. I made a video on how to get sponsorships, and recently, last, last August, I think, I made a video on how to get five ways to get sponsorships on your channel. So... The fact of the matter is, why do people want these things so bad and then whenever they think a video is sponsored, get so angry about it? That's what I want to know. And that's a question I pose to you guys because I have no clue. It just doesn't make sense to me. I don't get what the stigma is of making money on the internet. Uh, it just does not make any sense to me. It never has. I mean, like, your parents go to work and make money. And I assume anyone who's an adult doesn't care about someone making money on the internet. So, your parents go to work and make money just like I go on the internet and make money. It's the same thing. The exact same thing. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to say that that's how you can tell if a sponsorship is on my channel. And I'm open to your guys' feedback in a constructive manner. Telling me a sellout or saying this video is advertising is quite stupid and not going to get any kind of positive reaction from me. However, if you're like, hey Nick, maybe do this or something like that, I'm definitely going to listen to it. Listen to feedback like that all the freaking time. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and it was a bit of a different video, so I hope you did are okay with me doing a video like this and explaining the fact that I don't do a lot of sponsorships. No more than three per month. Usually just two. Usually I just do two sponsorships every single month because I don't want to bombard you guys with it. I turn down way more sponsorships 
then I accept. I get at least five per week usually if I go out and search for them and like get on websites like Famebit or something like that and ask for like, you know, contact people for sponsorships, I can get a heck of a lot more, 10 plus replies per week. So I get a lot of offers and I turn down a lot of offers in order to keep a good trust with you guys because I don't want every single video I upload to be a sponsorship. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Yet again, I'm Nick's Games. Any constructive feedback, post it down below. And I'm out, guys. Peace.